In this video, I will be covering some modeling techniques used in the fixture design for a dual-sided twin flow impeller that I machined on our Akuma M560V equipped with a Nikon rotary. The final fixture design is shown here. Mastercam 2023 has some nice modeling enhancements that help me achieve this result. Click on the second view sheet to see the in-process model. To start, I modeled this single boss. The design of the impeller includes five main blades and five splitters, each segment separated by 72 degrees. Ideally, we can position these bosses lined up with the main blades. Despite the perimeter retention bolts being sacrificial, mounting them in line with the veins will help avoid them when machining. Before creating the remaining bosses, I do want to make one subtle change. Rather than have this radius match the exact geometry of the impeller, let's make it a clearance chamfer. This way it can be machined using a generic chamfer mill. No 3D surfacing or exact match radius mill needed. Go to the first view sheet, model prep, modify feature, and delete the fillet. Now launch model prep push pull. In the panel interface, you will notice a new feature that supports the creation of a chamfer. In Mastercam 2023, you are no longer restricted to the creation of fillets in push-pull. From here, grow that chamfer just enough to clear the fillet. It may be helpful to turn on the other view sheet to view the part in the fixture. Looks like somewhere around 20 thousandths should work. With that change taken care of, let's create the five separate support bosses. To do this, we can use another new enhancement to model prep. I would like to rotate this existing boss around, but if I try to model prep move it in its current form, the system cannot differentiate the feature. In order to select this boss as its own feature, we need to split the solid face that makes up the OD. Go back to the first view sheet and right click and select the front plane. Draw a short piece of wireframe at the base of the part. From the Model Prep tab on the ribbon, select Split Solid Face. Using the wireframe method, project using the construction plane. Select the OD face and splitting geometry. Split Solid Face has an improved and intuitive selection workflow that does not require toggling solid edge selection for wireframe. A small interface and workflow change, but if you've used Split Solid Face in previous releases, you will immediately notice the improvement. There is also another improvement in Split Solid Face. New in Mastercam 2023 is the option of Extend to Edge. Notice the difference in how the face splits as I turn that off and on. Leave it on and click OK. With the OD face split, that feature is now completely independent from the rest of the model and can now easily be rotated and copied around the part. Since there is no model history, I can also delete that piece of wireframe without affecting the solid model. Select Model Prep Move. Use Window Selection to grab all the faces of that support boss. Ensure Mastercam is in 3D mode and swap Nomen modes. Relocate the Nomen to the top center of the bottom face. Revert the Nomen mode to move the feature. To copy it, you can control click on the Nomen and rotate it 72 degrees by typing in the value. Hit enter twice to accept the value and then the change and repeat until there are five instances of the boss. From here, I'm ready to proceed with the rest of the solids modeling to get the fixture to its finished state. In this video, I showed powerful workflow and functionality enhancements to model prep. These subtle changes are part of a long list of features that make solids modeling and design in Mastercam 2023 easier than ever before.